America is the last civilized country in the world which published this novel. First of all, it was published in Russia. It became national bestseller even in spite of our difficult times now. Messy times, I could say. After it was, uh, it became, it was four, four editions in Germany. It was published in Italy. In Italy, I was so happy. I never could dream about it. That I got, last September I went to Italy to getting Bo Giovanni Boccaccio prize for the best novel of year in Italy. I so, was so happy. But, because I'm an I'm old poet, but I'm young novelist. I need support. <laughs> you know that I'm begging, begging your words, for your words. So, and was published in all Scandinavian countries. And uh, uh, Brazil is publishing it. It's, uh, in, but my entrance into English was very difficult. I got to Double Day, this novel, to Jackie Kennedy, whom I knew very well, and I never, Bobby Kennedy introduced me her in 1968, and I never will forget, like Jackie Kennedy, whose image, in my opinion, is terribly distorted by press, she said me, you know, Zhenia, it's my short name in Russian. When John's head was falling down and I tried to support it, I felt like Anna Karenina looking into trains who coming closer and closer on the road. I never forget it. It's a great image. And, but, Jacqueline Kennedy was already ill. She was dying. She was hospitalized. She died. I, and after she died, my literary agent Julian Bach has sent me her letter. She wrote a letter. It's one of her last letters. And she wrote it, it like you know, it's a, such a sad paradox because I got a letter about my novel entitled Don't Die Before You're Dead from the death after she was died. And she said, I've read Ivtushenko's novel. I always like his poetry and I liked so much his special investigator of police, Stepan Balchikov. <laughs> Probably he is one most charming man from all novels which I have read for the last two decades working in Double Day. It's, you know, like she gave me her hand from the death. Because in this moment what happened with me, many American public began to refuse it. I got 24 rejections for my novel from different publishing houses, even from random houses too. Probably I, I, I couldn't say about it, but okay, between friends. And so they always, they always were trying to convince me that this novel is too Russian. And I didn't understand what they mean because I what does it mean to be too Russian? I admire uh, Mark Twain, for instance, because he's American writer. And he, I admire Dickens because he's a very English writer. And I think many Americans, they admire Tolstoy or Dostoevsky because they are very Russian to the core. Otherwise, how we could know each other if we'll have a standardization or McDonaldization of all our culture. <laughs> it's all so boring, it's terribly image, you know, that kind of, it's uh, Orwell even didn't foresee such a, such a future. 
And they were there trying to convince me. This, that's, no, that's very complicated for Americans. Uh, because you have many flashbacks. Americans, they don't like flashbacks. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, but I read Faulkner. <laughs> but Faulkner is the past. Faulkner is over. Forgotten. Nobody reads Faulkner. Everybody reads Grisham. Everybody reads Stephen King, etc. etc. No. I'm not trying to destroy your business with this author. No, so, but... I was really... It's a very strange situation. There uh, was uh, only one Russian writer who published 18 books before in, in America. In, I felt blockaded. And so, I felt... I, could I say it? I'm sorry, but I felt a commercial censorship. Yes, which sometimes is political too. So, and I even called one of my friend, Bill Steinron, and said, Bill, I'm in, uh, just, just I'm in trap. And Bill called his agent. And he said, well, of course, he, he recommended me. And his agent, I don't want to mention his name, is the author of one book, How to Make American Bestseller. He said, Mr. Epichenko, I... I respect you very much, but this book never will publish in America. I said, why? Because it's too Russian. <laughs> so anyway, this book penetrated into English from Australia. Australians published it, became bestseller immediately in Australia. Afterwards, Canada published it, became bestseller. The seller, I mean, not the seller of this, of this scale of uh, so that inter entertaining novels. But afterwards, United Kingdom published. So now, finally, American. American. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one thing, because sometimes Americans publish big publishing houses, they're like dinosaurs. Why dinosaurs are gone? Do you know why? <laughs> Because dinosaurs, according to my Siberian information, <laughs> they had two brains. One brain to move their little hand, and another to move their clumsy long tail. <laughs> and practically, because I teach in America, I love America, but I see how my students I said, don't know absolutely anything about European literature. And America is a daughter of Europe, prodigal daughter, successful daughter. But you have, if you have very wise granny, time to time you have to come back to the trunk stuffed with the let yellowed letters of your granny. You have to read it, leave it, very scrupulously, and you will find many good advices for you. One of the best books in the Europe, it's, uh, which is Teal Orange Spiegel by Charles de Coster, it's absolutely unknown in America, I just got now. It's a book of quality of Don Quixote. And everybody knows that symphony of Richard Strauss, Tyrion and Spiegel, nobody knows about the existence of this book. I, now I got one um, English short version, criminally short version, a pocket book that's just crime, you know. They have to be sentenced immediately for <laughs> such an edition. And I got 1943 edition with this book. It was published, 1,500 copies, and you know where? In Netherlands, in English. In no. And I, I have an idea, remember it please. I'll go to a random house, and I'll blackmail them <laughs> to publish full, finally, full version of this greatest book. It's my introduction, which I have full, so, Please buy this book. What is it called again? <laughs> Teal Orange Spiegel. Oh, Teal Orange Spiegel. Nobody knows it. Though. No, come no. on. Ninth, last edition was 1943.